السلام علیکم مائی سیلف ڈاکٹر انصاری فرزانہ فیض الزما ڈپارٹمنٹ آف کیمسٹری جے ٹی آرٹ سائنس اینڈ کامرس کالج مالیگاؤں ویلکم آل آف یو ان پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو سین اباؤٹ دی اوہم سلا اینڈ الیکٹریکل یونٹس اینڈ آلسو دی اسپیسیفک ریزسٹنس ناؤ ٹوڈے وی شیل ڈسکس اباؤٹ دی اسپیسیفک کنڈکٹنس ایٹ از ڈینوٹیڈ وتھ دی ہیلپ آف لیٹر ایل ایس دی ریسی پروکل آف اسپیسیفک ریزسٹنس آف اینی کنڈکٹنگ مٹیریل از ڈیفائنڈ ایز دی اسپیسیفک کنڈکٹنس It is given by the symbol LS and is expressed in reciprocal OHAM unit called MOHO. <coughs> Mathematically, LS is equal to 1 upon rho. The unit of LS will be o per OHAM per centimeter or you can say that MOHO per centimeter. The conductance is reciprocal of resistance of conducting material. Therefore, L is equal to 1 upon R. So from equation 3.4, that means in the equation, R is equal to rho L upon A. It becomes substituting the value of rho. Value of R, sorry, not value of rho, value of R. It becomes L is equal to A upon rho L. Therefore, L is equal to Ls A upon L. A specific conductance is the conductance of 1 centimeter cube of material. Types of conductance. There are various types of conductance or conducting material. Silver, copper, aluminium, fused NaNO3, 1 molar KCL solution, 0.001 molar KCL solution, etc. <coughs> In this table, we have see, shows this table, that means this table shows that a specific resistance of material are much lower than those of electrolyte taken in fused form or in the form of their aqueous solution. The reason behind this Observation is that the conductance in a metal occur due to movement of electron while that in solution of electrolyte occurs due to movement of ion and the mobility of electron which is much greater than the mobility of ion. The table further shows that the specific resistance of solution of a strong electrolyte are lower than those of solution of weak electrolyte. This difference arises due to different extent to which the strong and weak electrolyte dissociate in dilute solution. The strong electrolyte dissociate almost completely in dilute solution while weak electrolyte dissociate partially. Therefore, the number of ion in the solution of a strong electrolyte at a particular concentration is considerably greater than those present in the solution of weak electrolyte having the same concentration. The conductance in metal is called electronic conductance while that in solution of electrolyte is called as electrolytic conductance or ionic conductance. temperature, the resistance of a metal increases while that of solution of electrolyte decreases. This is because mobility of electron decreases with rise in temperature while the mobility of ion increases. Now, what is mean by equivalent conductance? It is denoted with the help of letter lambda. It is observed that the conductance of solution of different electrolyte vary with their concentration. To compare the conductance of different electrolyte, it is convenient to define a quantity called equivalent conductance. 
It is the conductance due to all ions produced by 1 gram equivalent of an electrolyte in a given solution. Consider two large parallel electrodes set 1 cm apart and whole of the solution containing 1 gram equivalent of an electrolyte is placed between the electrode if V is the volume of solution containing 1 gram equivalent of an electrolyte then lambda is equal to Ls into V. If C is the concentration of the solution in gram equivalent per liter then V is equal to 1000 upon C. Then the above equation becomes lambda is equal to Ls 1000 upon C. Lambda is never determined directly but is calculated from a specific conductance and the concentration. Determination of conductance. For determination of conductance, we are in need of the conductivity cell. The solution whose resistance is to be determined is taken in conductivity cell. The cell basically consists of glass container in which two electrodes are fixed. The electrodes are of a stout platinum foil. They are coated with platinum black or platinum is deposited electrolytically on platinum. The deposited platinum consists of very fine platinum particle and appears black, hence name platinum black in practice. See, these are the various type of the conductance cell or conductivity cell. <coughs> the electrode when polarized operate irreversibly. In case of non-polarized electrode, the applied potential differs from reversible electrode potential by infinitesimally small amount. A very small current flows resulting in very small change in the concentration of the solution. Various type of the cell are shown in this figure. Cell first usually used in laboratory and the dipping type cell is cell second is useful for industrial measurement. Type third is used when accurate results are required. For the measurement of resistance of weakly conducting solution, it is desirable to use electrode separated by very small distance and with a large cross-section area. This will reduce the resistance of solution between electrode so that it can be readily be measured. <coughs> Wheatstone bridge circuit. Wheatstone bridge circuit in some form is employed in the measurement the circuit diagram is shown in this figure. In the figure C is the conductivity cell filled with solution of an electrolyte. R is the variable, the standard resistance, S is the source and D is a suitable current detector. A small BC is the wire of uniform cross section over which the sliding contact J move, the point D along with BC is detected by moving J along with BC in the manner that no current flow through capital D. The point is small d is called as null point for accurate work along with balancing of resistance of the bridge R the capacitance are also balanced. For this variable, capacitor K is connected to parallel with the resistance R. The value of the variable resistance R should be comparable 
to resistance of the solution. Source and detector. Formally directed, direct current was used in the conductance measurement. During measurement, electrolysis occurred which changes the concentration of solution. This means that the measured resistance would not be referred to original concentration of solution. Secondly, the product of electrolysis accumulating at electrode interfere with the measurement. To avoid this, F.W. Kolar suggests the use of alternating current in the measurement a source with output frequency of 1000 to 2000 hertz is normally used. The advantage of AC is that change in solution concentration due to a small amount of electrolyte occurring in half cycle reverse completely in the subsequent half cycle. Human ear is sensitive to above frequency range. An earphone may be con conveniently used as a detector. The buzzing sound produced due to the passage of current is minimum at null point. Cathode ray oscilloscope can also be used as a detector. Calculation of resistance of solution. To understand the method of calculation, consider the circuit diagram in the previous figure, except that the source of alternating current is replaced by battery. This modification is shown in this figure. The current I from battery get divided into two parts. I1 and I2 at C the passage of current through any resistance is accompanied with potential drop across the resistance it is given by product current into resistance at the null point the point A and D are the same potential for this potential drop across C and A equal to potential drop across C and D where R2 is the resistance of wire DC similarly we can write potential drop across AB is equal to potential drop across DB Therefore, we have I1 Rx is equal to I2 R1. We get dividing this equation two equations. Then this equation becomes Rx upon R is equal to R1 upon R2. Thus, knowing R, R1, R2, the resistance of the solution of electrolyte may be calculated. Thank you for watching.